Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up emails with your web server. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is set up some DNS records. So you need to go to wherever your name servers are pointing. For me, this is Cloudflare. So we'll then select our domain, and then on the left, we're gonna click on the DNS tab. Depending on what website you're using, this might be called something like Advanced DNS. So once we're in here, under DNS Management, we're going to add a new record. So we're going to make an A-type record. The name is going to be mail, and the IPv4 address is going to be 51.89.244.99. And the proxy status is going to be DNS only. And we'll leave the TTL at Auto. Then go ahead and click Save. And that is our first record done. We also need one more. So once again, click add record. However, for this one, we're gonna change the type from A to MX. For the name, we're simply gonna put at, and then for the mail server, you're gonna put mail dot, and then your domain. So my domain is strangestan.xyz. We'll once again, leave the TTL auto, and we're gonna put the priority to one. And then you can go ahead and click save. So that is actually the mail set up. But now, how can you receive and send emails? So for this, we're going to need to go to our cPanel. Then on this main page, we're then going to find email and we're going to click on email accounts. So here, we're then going to click create and then we need to complete this. So for the username, this will be the email address that we create. So let's say we wanted the email address to be contact and then at strangestand.xyz. You simply put in contact and the rest will be filled out. And then you're going to go ahead and set a password. And this is to make sure no one else can log into your email. So I've now entered in my password. And once we've done that, we're then going to click create. And now in the email accounts tab, we have contact at strangestand.xyz. And now if I wanted to go to this email, you simply click check email. And here you'll be taken to this page. Now for this video, all we're going to need to do is simply click open. However, you can change your mobile client to hoard as well if you want to. However, by default, we will be using Roundcube. Also, this box is checked here. And this means that when you click check email next time, you will immediately be put into your inbox instead of sent to this page. So if we click open, we are now sent to our inbox. You can see we have received an email here from cPanel, which just shows all our settings and information about our email. So let's go ahead and test an email now. So we can see here, I'm sending an email to contact at strangestan.xyz. This is the subject. I'm sending an attachment of the Pebblehost logo, and this is the body text down here. So let's go ahead and send it. And as you can see, we have now received the email. You can see the subject is here, and we can see here that there is an attachment, which of course is down here. And then we have the body text exactly as we typed it. So now let's go ahead and actually reply to this email. So simply click reply at the top, and then of course say what you want to here. All right, so I've written this for the body text, and then at the top if we click attach, we can also attach a file. So once again, I've just attached the Pebblehost logo, which we can see here on the right. So let's go ahead and click send. And as we can see here, we've just got an email. And now if we open up the email, we can see that it was from contact at strangestan.xyz. We can see the attachment and of course the body text as well. And we can also see on cPanel if we go to sent, we can also see the email here. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, definitely give a like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you next time.